Today I got this throw up green jersey and I don't know why, but when Anthony Edwards wears it, it just looks so much cooler. What's going on guys, it's Mike, and in today's video we're going to be checking out the Anthony Edwards Minnesota Timberwolves Statement Jersey. So this came out maybe last year, I think last year or two years ago, it's like that throw up green, really ugly green. I was not into it when it first released, I thought it was ugly. But the more I watch Anthony Edwards playing it, it's growing more and more on me. I think it just goes down to like seeing Cat, Cat is like a little more light skinned and I don't know if it really blends in that well, but Anthony Edwards has like... A little darker skin and it just pops that green pops and I don't know maybe it's because I'm biased and I'm more becoming more and more of a fan of his I think he's like more advanced than his age like dude that guy has first off prototypical body build that you would want a basketball player to have this guy has all the skill sets and just continues to get better and better he's like much more wise than his age would say Honestly, I was super excited to see this get released online just to add to my personal collection because man, like this guy, he could easily be in that Luka range where they're super young, really NBA ready, and these guys are going to be the face of the league and it's going to be an exciting time. So in today's video, we're just going to go ahead and unbox the jersey, take a closer look at the finer details and show you guys what it looks like in hand. Unfortunately, these jerseys... Man, it just kind of randomly popped up at Dick's Sporting Goods for 110 bucks. So that's probably the only time I saw it this year, maybe earlier on in the season, but pretty much sold out at the moment. And before we get started, if you guys find this video helpful or entertaining, an easy way to support the channel, just by hitting like, hit subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So when I drop new videos or their sales or new releases, you don't miss out. Let's go ahead and get to it. So Anthony Edwards, Swingman, Statement Jersey, like I said, 110 at Dick Sporting Goods. Random, but here's the first look. Boom. So, first off, you get the Jumpman logo since it's a statement jersey. We'll check that out later. But you got Anthony Edwards. Kind of excited. Let me see if I put this on later, if it'll look as cool. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. First, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the Jerry West logo. So this won't have the NBA 75th anniversary uh, patches. So it's going to be that original heat press piece you can see right here. NBA logo, heat pressed. But we go to the collar. So right here you got that rib material, navy blue, very dark navy blue. And on the arm openings you get that lime green trim. And then you can see the jersey base, the shoulder area is navy blue. Then it goes to that green. Then we go to lettering and numbering, Anthony Edwards. So this one's a dark navy blue heat press piece. Just navy blue, heat press nice and clean. And then we go to number one. So it's that white base with the navy blue trim that goes around. Also heat pressed. And that is the back of the jersey. And on the front of the jersey, the collar's the same style. Rib material has a v-neck collar. And then on the arm opening, same style the lime green trim. Going down right here to the neck label area, Jumpman instead of the Nike swoosh since it's a statement jersey, a large Guatemala, and this one's last year's run. But we go to the retail tags, Dick Sporting Goods, size large. Pretty much your standard stuff from last year. They didn't have any changes, the 2021 changes. You got the Jumpman here. It's the old tags. And on these statement jerseys, Right here, you get an embroidered Jumpman logo. So this year we got that 75th anniversary. Usually, with the Nike uh, Swingman jerseys, you get a heat press swoosh. This one, the statement, you get a Jumpman, but it's embroidered, real nice. Then we look at the jersey base, you can see here, navy blue in the shoulder area. Then it goes to lime green, you can see where it's binded together with the stitching. And then it goes to a white portion as well. So it gives it different layers. Then we got Minnesota in the front. Just like the back, navy blue heat press piece. I do like the font and how they did the A. Kind of no cross right there. <laughs> then we got number one, Anthony Edwards, same as the back. And we go down to the jock tag. We got Swingman 48, the Jumpman instead of the Nike swoosh. And that 
pretty much to that jersey. So there's nothing on the side panel. Pretty um, green <laughs> jersey. Let's see what it looks like when I wear it. And this is what it looks like when you wear the jersey. So like I said earlier in the video, you got three different colorways. So the top portion, you get that navy blue. In the middle right here, well, there's a stripe right down the middle. That's the only white portion of the jersey, for the jersey base at least. You got white lettering, but that's about it. And then you got throw up green all over. <laughs> you got the jock tag, nothing on the side panels. Like I said, it's a really green jersey. Then you got Anthony Edwards. I got nothing to dunk on. So I took off the shirt, trying to get a better look at it with my skin tone, and I don't know. I just don't think it, it works for me. But definitely for like Pat Bev and Anthony Edwards, who have a darker tone, I think it looks way better. But for me, a little lighter, eh. What do you guys think about it? Would this be something you would rock? Like for me, I'm thinking about it like, dude, trying to like make, have an outfit with this? I don't know, my shoes are super limited, so I think this would be a tough one to kind of like make an outfit go with this jersey because it's so loud. But honestly, having it in hand, I think it looks better than when I see it on TV, but still not like a big fan of it. But it's Anthony Edwards, so it's something that I maybe want to start grabbing and collecting for the future, but we'll see what happens. But let me know what you think in the comments below, and thanks again for watching, guys, and on to the next video.